Hello, my name is Benny Botanians. I am a data analyst with the BT provider, and today I'll walk you through the steps needed to create an origin destination map. First, we need to make sure that our data source contains longitude and latitude fields for both the origin and the destination fields. In other words, the data source must contain two longitude fields and two latitude fields. In the example we'll be using today, we'll be looking at flights from an airport in London. And as you can see, we have latitude and longitude fields for the origin and the same fields for the destination. After we have connected to our data source in Tableau Desktop, we can start building our visualization. But before we can create the map, we need to create a total of three calculated fields. First, we need to tell Tableau where the origin point is. In order to do that, we create the following calculated field. Let's name it origin point. And input the following formula. Make point origin latitude origin longitude. Let's add it to our view to see how it looks. Let's also add the origin city on label. Good, now we have our origin point mapped. Next, we need to follow the same steps for our destination point. So we'll create another calculated field. We'll name it destination point. And we'll use the same formula, make point. But now we'll input the coordinates for the destination. So destination latitude and destination longitude. Let's add it to another layer of our map by dragging the field and dropping it in this section where it says add the marks layer. Let's also add the city names on label. And now we have our destination point mapped. But we need to see lines that connect our origin point to each destination point. And in order to do that, we need to create a third and final calculated field. Let's call it line. And in this, we'll combine the two previously created fields using the formula make line. The start point will be the origin point. And the end point will be the destination point. Let's add it to a new layer, just like before we drag it and drop it on as a marks layer. And now we can see lines connecting our origin to our destination. Now let's make the visualization look a bit better by adding a bit of color. I'll use destination country on color. Now, if we hover over each line, we can see the destination country. If we want to see each line individually, we can drag the destination city on details. Now let's make the colors pop a bit by changing the map background. We go to map, background maps, and let's change it to dark. And there we have it. Our origin destination map is finished. Thank you for watching.